Have you ever searched for the weirdest products on Amazon? No. Not at all. Not that now, no judgment if you have. I think that everybody at some point or another have thought, what are the weirdest products out there on Amazon? And that is what led us to these. Ridiculous. These are hander pants. Mm -hmm. They are underpants for your hand. I don't know why someone would sell something like this. It's a good question that you ask. The reason why people would <laughs> sell something like this, it's for supermodels. It is for construction. Unbelievable. Cooking. It is for cruising, the elderly, and also night blogging. I do want to caution you, this cannot be used for day blogging. It's night blogging. It's only night blogging, so you cannot use these for day blogging. But why? And there are so many other weird products that we found that we just wanted to include in this video, including yes. one of these in particular, which has sold hundreds in the last <laughs> month, yes. which is absolutely mind boggling. And next, we have a blobfish. Tell me why. Don't ask me why we have a blobfish, but we just have a peppy blobfish. And if you've never seen a blobfish, it's so weird to see blobfish all the time. If you've never seen a blobfish before, we have a picture on the screen right here. This ugly. isn't a blo blobfish, this is the happy blobfish. <laughs> it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. We got this because a lot of people were buying it. I have no idea what this is You know what, what I just noticed for. about this? So Hander Pants also was made by Archie McPhee, which is the brand. Oh, were they? So it's all the same brand. So that brand's probably killing it with these absolutely People ridiculous buy this <laughs> stuff. I mean, maybe just to do videos like we are right now, but uh, it exists. It has care instructions that you have to read very closely. You want to read for them? Sure. Store me in my box. Rinse underwater to clean. This is where it gets weird. Sing to me at night. <laughs> I never tire of compliments. Don't make fun of my looks, which is difficult. Read me lots of stories. Don't swear in front of me and don't eat me. We're buddies. Yeah, those are the care instructions. And they say also, don't set this block fish anywhere because it can stain. It can stain? Now I'm really curious what it actually feels like. Oh. What is that? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it. sticky and it's an idiot. Look, you can even see residue on the thing. Why would people buy this? Look. <laughs> what cracks me up about the blobfish, if you've ever seen the picture, he's never happy. That's his face. He's always got this sad look on his eyes. So, <laughs> but he looks really handsome. Yeah, very the compliments, so. beautiful. And we got to sing to lullabies like twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> Maybe it's satisfying because you can like squish it. Or maybe some people just like the blobfish. I guess. What would you rate this? Oh, we didn't rate the, the underpants, pant, pant, whatever that is. I <laughs> guess if you want hander pants, underpants for your hands, it's 10 out of 10. I mean, it's exactly, I like the seams that they have. What do you think of these? They feel like <laughs> underwear, by the way, if you want to feel them. It, it, they feel and they look like underwear, so I would say like eight. No one would ever wear something like this. Except for me right now. Ridiculous. Yeah. What about this one? <laughs> I would give a Three. Why would you have, it's so ugly. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Next, we have one of my heroes. This just looks like a pillow with a pillowcase. Uh, and this actually, just to be clear, this is only the pillowcase that we mm -hmm. purchased. But there is an individual, maybe you've seen these before, where you, you know, this is this is the one Are they side of it. Sequel? Sequel? There is a name sequence. for these. Sequence. Sequence, okay. Yeah, Brazil. This is one of my favorite people who is also a neighbor of ours. I don't know if you even knew that. No. And also the name that you all know him by isn't his real name. And I'm just going to show you one part of it, and you probably still don't know who it is. <laughs> Imagine and then I'll show you, at your house. And then I'll show you this, and maybe, no, there's maybe no you way. can kind of tell who it is. <laughs> no. And then now you can see who it actually is. Ladies and gentlemen, Nicolas Cage <laughs> has made his first appearance on our YouTube channel. Hi, I'm Nicolas Cage. Nick, it's great to meet you. Felita. Oh, great to meet you too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> this is ridiculous, by it, the way. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's satisfying. I thought it was gonna be hard to like do this and then go back. It's actually not, it's actually really easy. I mean, who doesn't need a pillow of sequins with Nicolas Cage? I don't know of a single person watching this but that doesn't need is, this. The thing is, because you can kind of leave it like this, red, you can have it on your couch and have a it's little peekaboo moment. It's absolutely ridiculous and I know. So I just wanna say, if you know what his real name is, then go ahead and post it in the comments. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna choose someone at random and we don't have a ton of followers right now, so it very well could <laughs> oh, be you. No. We are going to send them this pillowcase and I look forward to doing so. We uh, don't want it. So yeah, so, so you know. comment and then also look back, uh, you know, a day or two after we publish a video so that you see our reply to you. One through 10, where would you rate this thing? A three? Just because You're gonna rate it a three, looking at this face? Yeah, I would Look definitely this guy. rate this a three, a three. I would never have this in my house, by the way. Yeah, but for, for a big Nicolas Cage fan, where would you rate it? Come on. 
A four? <laughs> Maybe a four? I would rate this a nine out of 10. I am a Nicolas Cage fan, absolutely. He's one of our neighbors. Not like literally, but he lives kind of I close didn't to even us. know that. Yeah, That's he lives in, in, in the same me. area, I guess you could say. I would definitely rate, rate this very, very high. I think it's amazing. Okay. And talking about Nicolas Cage, I have dehydrated water. What? I don't know how water can be dehydrated because it's water, but you understand why this is related to Nicolas Cage, okay? This is an exclusive drink of Nicolas Cage while stealing the Decla Declaration of Independence. It's easy for you to say. I huh? know, right? <laughs> If you ever see National Treasure, so they have some funny things on the box. My favorite, I just want to mention this. this so this says, why does this smell like chloroform? And then it says, dash, definitely not you in 30 seconds. So chloroform, if you don't get it. This has to be a game. It's, game, it's I, I would say this is pretty um, creative. That's creative. the word. Creative yes. and funny. Very creative and funny. But do they really have dehydrated water? I don't know what's, water well, dehydrated water is nothing. So yeah, they have dehydrated water. <laughs> We've been duped. Yeah, just oh my add God, water. I did not think there you about go. that. Dehydrated water. Dehydrated water, water is, nothing. is nothing. Why am I so stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to have some type of powder or something. Oh my God, maybe here. we should edit that out. Oh my <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in there, of course. So there is dehydrated water in here, actually. You guys can see it right there. There's plenty of it. They have a lot of it. I can't believe I didn't think about that. Empty, I really the best that. part of the instructions, empty the contents into any size container, add water to taste, drink, then question your life choices. <laughs> This is pretty creative. I like this one. It's, like, you know one of those, how they call the Christmas when you give someone a gift? It's a gag gift. A gag gift, yes, saying. yes. Yeah, it's yes. a gag gift. It's ridiculous. And we Very bought much. one, and we hope that you guys all buy one. And I actually bought millions. this thinking that there was gonna be something inside. I'm not even Oh, well, there is, there's lying. dehydrated water in here. It's in here. <laughs> I mean, there's no, you just gotta add water to it. My God. Anyways. <laughs> what would you rate this? You know what? I'm gonna give them a lot of points for creativity on this one. Very. I think that it's pretty funny. Uh, yes. It's not for the uh, folks that you know, it would go over their head because that'd be embarrassing. We wouldn't want to embarrass those folks. No. But I would probably give this, I would give it a, a like a nine out of 10 for, I mean, for what it is. I, for yeah, it is. I would give it a 10 out of 10. Whoever came up with this idea. Yeah, it's just cool. such a ridiculous product. Very. That's why I, I can't give it a 10 and out of 10. And I can't believe I fell for it. Yeah. And next we have this one. Now, if you're wondering, this is the one that was selling hundreds on Amazon yes. last month. It sold hundreds, mm -hmm. which is just mind boggling. These are, so I'm gonna open this so you can actually see it. Probably pretty loud on your end, sorry about that. These are, these are lobster slippers? Yeah. I don't know, is it, are these supposed to be one size fits all? <laughs> you know? I was the one that bought the product. I specifically specifically chose his size. Oh, okay, so you chose my size. Okay, yeah, I didn't know It was that. a gift. Um, yeah, so this so is lobster slippers. I guess maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why this would be selling so much. I mean, it's kind of so cool weird. though. Like if you're at the beach or something and you got these bad boys you? on. I would like I'm these. I'm kidding, okay? You're I not like doing these. this to me. You're not like doing it. I'm probably gonna do keep it. these. Yeah, no. I will, I don't care. I, I would just laugh if people said something about them. I really don't care. You will do it. Um, I mean, that's why I've been wearing hander pants the whole video. I think that these are actually pretty awesome. We have to go outside for one other product. We're gonna show you uh, in a little we bit do. here. Yeah. Uh, so when I do that, I'll give you a full try-on haul of these beauties. I would say the quality is yeah. good. What would yeah. you give them out of 10? For quality. I know it's weird, but for what it is. I just like authenticity it. and how, like the look of it, like the details, right? <laughs> For qu look how ridiculous this looks. I would give it a seven for quality. It's soft, you know. Seven it's like for quality. These seem pretty good. I guess my worry would be if these things know. will eventually unhinge right, or like rip off eventually. Could, but, um, but it seems like it's like all one piece. I'm like gonna give them a ten. Piece. I'm gonna give them a ton. I mean, for if you want, you know, these. <laughs> if you want them, these are them. These are. I mean, you I'm are sure the they people don't buying this stuff on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, like if I if I was like a big fisherman or something. Oh my God, I'd be all over these things. Are you kidding me? It'd be amazing. So yeah, we'll try them on in a minute. But uh, yeah, I'll give a solid ton. Seven. And here is the next product, a another gift for my loving husband because I love him so much. I don't know how you could top the uh, lobster things, but. What is that? This that's is a, a fanny belly. pack. Yeah, that's a big fat belly thing. <laughs> yes, it is. I'm not as hairy as this guy. <laughs> no, he's actually not that hairy. Who do you think, whose belly button is this? This is his claim to fame. This guy right here, I mean, he's gotta be on hundreds of people's bellies, right? I know, because again, people are buying Was this one, this, did this, this sell stuff. a lot? Like, did this actually yes. sell? Yes, oh my God. Is there stuff in there? Yes, they give a little. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, this is iconic. Why would they give the USA thing? Because of the fat belly. It's probably someone from another country just making fun of Americans for being so fat. Then I just want to be healthy, not like her. I probably know. Oh, this wow. hair should be from something they hate American. Probably. You should try this on. Let me fill this up with some stuff so it's more puffy. And here we have a model to show you. You can turn a little bit around. Oh, there you go. You can you have a little bit of the the belly right here, the the 3D effect. Turn around the other way. This thing is One so thing stupid. I gotta mention though, it has a lot of space. Okay. It does. So kind of looking at it, does it really? By the way, guys, we have a monitor over here that we're looking at. Yeah. Um, do. Does this Sorry. really look like a belly? That's the question. It does look like. I mean, a belly. the hard thing, like if you have the. There we go. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Okay, well, where would we rate this thing out of ten? For space, I'll give it an eight because it does have a lot of space. For looks. Maybe a three. Yeah, I, I, I'd say the quality actually is pretty solid. Yeah. Um, and it, I also had to extend this to mm -hmm. make sure it actually fit. Quality is really not that bad. Um, but the picture, this belly button, I mean, it's a beautiful belly button, but it's just not that realistic. And like the hair even looks a little weird color and everything. I guess. The I mean, color it's like, quality, it's a again, it's yeah. a gag gift. It's yeah. decent. I would probably give this one like a solid six. And next we have a product that I think deserves a slow intro, which is a floating poop pool thermometer. Now, for those of you that have seen the movie Caddyshack with the duty in the pool, this is reminiscent of that. Honestly, it's actually got some pretty good details of some poop. <laughs> it, does. Um, it does look like poop. It does look like poop. I don't know if it's a scratch and sniff, I doubt it, but I assume it's a working pool thermometer. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to go outside to test this one to see how it actually looks. And as a bonus, I'll be wearing the uh, slippers as well. So here it is guys, the poopy thermometer. Um, it actually feels kind of soft and kind of nice. So yeah, I'll be putting this in, but I do want to mention that naturally I'm also wearing socks with these beautiful sandals. And I it looks amazing. Yeah, they look amazing. And they are comfortable. So let's go ahead and throw this thing in the water and see if it actually takes the temperature. By the way, it's gonna be freezing right now. This looks like a big dump. <laughs> it does look like floating poo. Yep, floating poo. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's our floating poo. I'll go ahead and grab it out of Let's here. Let's see if it actually and works. It does actually work, you guys. It's official and it does look like poo. And here we are back inside, and I just gotta mention, those Amazon products were pretty weird. Very. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. But do you remember another video that we did where we also had weird products? The Temu Top Rated Yes, products. the Top Rated Weird yes. Products. Yes. Which is right here. And you guys should check it out. Yeah, please, go ahead, click. Stop playing with the stupid water, Ta. I'm not. 